working on a place to go. 1,023 pounds of meat. Try not to stub his toe. Oh. So I just fell off the road there. A bit shocking. I'm all right though. I know you're all worried, very worried about me. Yeah, so go, go past the Feversham Arms. Bear right, just beyond. Sign to Hut in the Hole. Follow the curving lane uphill, passing the small, simple church on the left. After half a mile. turn right through the gate to a public footpath that's all I want that was a little bit of it's not a road it's a lane I'll be fine it's only a matter of going down here down here past the church on the left I can already see the church half a mile and there's a public footpath sign on the right ding dang do I'm on the other side of the valley because I'm starting to feel the sun come into my face which is the best place for the sun to be when you're making a little film, a little film for people to view. I've seen cows and now I can see sheep. As you can tell by my tone, I'm perking up a little bit. He's perking up as well. Where are you, public footpath sign? You know. They don't mess about in the countryside. I'm just catching my breath. One thing that disappoints me is the camera doesn't show incline. I've said it before and I'm saying it again because this is, I'm coming up the other side of the valley now and I've been going for just under half a mile, which I'm sure is nothing to lots of people. But when it's hot like this and when you're me, countryside expert, it's hard. Still waiting for the public pathway sign telling me to turn right but I'm taking advantage of this big tree over here giving me shade giving me beautiful shade until I continue on <sighs> hmm. What difference a two minute break does. Apparently there's a ladder, a ladder style down here for me to climb over. I think I can already see it. And then it tells me to enjoy the views of Farndale for the rest of your walk. I have done the full turn now. So I am heading back to base. So here it is, exactly as described, a ladder turnstile. So, pop my stick up there. Let's see if I can do this. One. Look at the views from the top of here. Fantastic.
there's a farm over there I guess I have to go through right let's get a, let's get on being a countryside expert as I am now I uh, I laugh in the face of <coughs> ladder ladder turnstiles like that I laugh at them easy they're no problem to me no 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 as promised the sun is now in my face as I head head home head back with a bit of a leap in my step as I'm on the home home run that wasn't actually oh well, we're not finished yet but I'm uh, I really, I'm really enjoying this walk I feel like I've had my my spell of exercise and I've been out of puff which I didn't really film too much of because who wants to listen to that but coming up the hill there on this side of the valley uh, took a fair bit out of me uh, the views were spectacular and ever-changing which is what I love about going on you know these treks these little walks circular walks that I've never been on before they're just a surprise every corner is a surprise but uh, we're not done yet let's see what's coming up I'm always a little bit uncomfortable going into farmers fields but uh, there's a little sign just on the left there telling me to continue quite a nice pile of tires now there's a signpost coming up here Oh, no, it's not a signpost. I'm not sure. Do I go straight ahead or do I turn right here? Hmm. Yeah, she goes straight ahead. I think. There you go. That's a nice confirming sign. Seeing a footpath. So it looks like Bridleway, which is actually traveling parallel with the road, which is just up there. So maybe, it's, maybe this is what I've got for the rest of the trip. And it's led me not back onto the main road, as I thought it might, but to this turnstile here. I'm not even looking at the book now. I'm just following ooh, where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> so the fences here are electrified and there's a source of it. We have battery going into the ground and the live wire going to there so I ain't touching that but I'm not sure where we're supposed to go to be honest but I guess I'm going to follow this oh, there's a turnstile down there so I'll just follow this electric wire across this field and I think it's there to stop us for people stop, stop people going down there Well, this is the end of the electric fence and we have some more steps. I'm going to try and get away from this farm as quick as possible. I don't want to even be spotted. There we go. Again, still parallel with the main road which is just up that track but uh, yeah here we are quite definitely back on the footpath oh and there's a maze stone carving workshops look at that that's very cool stone carving workshops
I appear to be in a field full of sheep. Well, as they fall, there's two. Of course, the hardest part of this bit stretch is avoiding the uh, the doo doo on the ground that the sheep have uh, done done. Oh, hello! I've woken these sheep up. Look, they don't look too happy. Have a good stretch. Sorry about this. This is quite cool. Little steps being made into the bank. Make my life easier. I'm glad to see that it's scared of me rather than me being scared of it. Looking at me quite strangely. Don't worry, just ignore me. The thing is about cows, right? I'm now getting used to this. They, they stare at you like they're going to kill you and then run away like big babies when you get near them. I'm enjoying this. I'm glad to see them steering away from the farm buildings now. I've been following a line of farm buildings. I'm now steering away from them. Going back downhill now. Back down into the valley, down to where the river is. So getting closer and closer and closer, but my God, this is amazing views. So I just had my little break under a tree over there. Had some water relaxed. And I found this. See that? That is a, let's have a read. A 60 to 30 gram Velocity gaming shell. It's rusted, so it's this is an old one. I'm not sure I'm mad keen on these plastic things being just left lying around in the countryside. I'll take this home. Very exciting. Has he gone off to get the last two? Right after that fiasco, I was supposed to go through this field here, I think. I think I was supposed to go down here. Yes. Bull in field, it says. I don't think so. There, yes, this, this, is, this is confusing. I'm just going to check see if there's a bull in this field. I 
do this. Well, that was pretty confusing. The farmer was trying to get his cows back. I'd, got, I'd gone left into his farm. Now, I'm treading carefully because the sign says that there's a bull in this field. I'm just checking that there isn't a bull in this field. Can't see anything. The, uh, his wife said, come down this way. But they've got a sign on the gate saying bull in field. I think the bull's in there, in that shed. Because it's very noisy. I can't see no bull. So I'm sticking to this. That is, that was kind of scary. Let me explain what happened. So I, I went into that guy's farm and I was just walking through his yard. And he, um, his wife was there and he told me to stand back or I would get flattened by his cows, which he was trying to get back into his farm from the field. So he got the cows in, but two stayed in the field. So he went and got them. So I started chatting to the, the wife and she tells me that I was supposed to turn right in the yard and not walk through the yard. So the farmer was probably already annoyed with me thinking I'm a right idiot. And I can see that, I can, it's like, they're trying to do their jobs. And they've got people like us, having pleasant afternoon strolls in the countryside, which we're perfectly entitled to do. But it's, it's that marriage between, the, you know, the public's right to, to walk and the farmer's right to, uh, to manage these fields and get on with their job and we're kind of in the way so I'm uh, I'm on the I'm on his side you know anyway I politely stood at the side and watched and waited and then when he had got all the cows back I I snuck through I should have apologized to him really so if you're watching Mr. Farmer sorry I liked your quad bike there's definitely no bull in this field that I can see which is good news. I think it was the noisy thing in the shed next to me. But I am seeing that the gate at the bottom is still open. So, uh, yeah. Why do bulls attack people? Why would they want to do that? Hmm? All right, the bottom of the field now, and this gate is open. So the bull would have been in this field here which is currently empty. And then through that field there is all the cows over there. I don't know why you'd want the bull to mix with the cows, but. So now I'm heading down, oh my Lord, look at the state of that. I'm now heading down here. I can hear the river again. God, it's so, uh, so nice. Checking for bulls all the time now. No, sheep. Ah, that's better. So here we are, having gone through a couple of fields, avoided sheep and cows and farmers and quad bikes. I'm back where I started, which is the little bridge and 
There's the pathway I headed off about three hours ago. Back at the River Dove. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like, subscribe, comment. That helps YouTube understand that you appreciate what I'm doing. Um, if you can hit the notification bell, you will find out when I upload another video. And I've been uploading a lot recently. And over on Patreon as well, the link down in the description. If you want to get some behind the scenes stuff of not only these walks that I do, these treks, but uh, my professional career as a self-shooting producer, director in the TV world. I'll be, I haven't been as yet, but I will be posting some stuff from that there. So if you can subscribe and like and comment and do all these things that <laughs> we love you to do i really appreciate it i much appreciate it uh, and i hope i see you next time on my next video like if you liked this video or you can be bold and leave a comment down below Hit the notification bell to get an alert so I can tell you I've uploaded the video and it is okay. It is okay. It is okay. I think it's probably quite average. It'll be alright.